Hello, welcome to the California Polytechnic State University of San Luis Obispo. My name is Jose Ruiz and I'll be your host through the video. This video will focus on the four major irrigation systems used in California, such as sprinkler, drip and micro, surface, and sub-irrigation. But before we jump over, it is important to know when irrigation actually began. Irrigation has been in practice for more than 4,000 years and some of those practices are still used today. Actually, some of those first systems used to transport water was surface irrigation, also known as gravity irrigation. The Egyptian civilization could not have been developed if it wasn't for their ingenuity in water transportation. Many changes have happened since those times. Water has become more scarce and especially in California, we have to utilize this limited resource with new irrigation techniques in order to conserve water. California agriculture provides more than 200 crops and some of those crops are grown nowhere else. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, about 73% of the state's agriculture revenues derive from crops. So as you might imagine, that requires a lot of water. Well, with no further delay, let's go ahead to the four major irrigation systems most used in California, such as sprinkler, drip and micro, surface, and sub-irrigation. In sprinkler irrigation, water is supplied to the soil using a pressurized piping system with a nozzle, jets that spread water into the air. As you can imagine, there are several versions of a sprinkler system that have been developed over the past years. There are several designs to best irrigate different fields depending on the area and soil characteristics. Sprinkler systems require clean water. Without clean water, the orifices will clog. It is important to consider installing a filtering system prior to irrigation to avoid this problem. There are several advantages for using a system like this, such as low labor cost, adaptable to many systems, application is uniform, and scheduling is flexible. The sprinkler system can be used to irrigate many types of crops. It is a diverse system and can be adapted with others to get adequate irrigation. Types of crops where you will most likely see this type of irrigation are sod, broccoli, and alfalfa just to name a few. A disadvantage to using a sprinkler system are the high cost investment. Depending on your water quality, you may need to install a filtration system to remove debris prior to irrigation. The system works on a pressurized water pump and will need access to energy. Now let's go ahead to drip irrigation. Drip and micro irrigation is a method in which water is delivered directly to small areas. It is delivered through emitters placed along the water delivery line. This system is becoming one of the most adaptive methods of irrigation in California. Every year new designs are coming out with higher irrigation efficiencies. Because of its availability to apply water directly to the plant, it is highly popular in the vine type crops such as grapes. Just like the sprinkler system mentioned before, the drip and micro system requires filtration. The orifices are small and will get clogged with debris. The advantages of using drip or micro is that it has a low flow rate. This saves water if used properly. You will see this system in orchards and grapes, and such many other crops such as broccoli, lettuce, peppers, and cotton, just to name a few. A disadvantage for using this system is the initial investment to the filtration system. Since the orifices are quite small, they will require additional care and may need periodic chemical flushing. Yet, in order to get great results in any of these systems, nothing beats having excellent management skills. This is a filtration system used for sprinkler, drip, and micro-irrigation. Both canisters are filled with gravel and sand. Water is passed from the top area through the sand filtering large debris that could clog the emitters. Surface irrigation is one of the oldest methods to irrigate. There are several versions of surface irrigation, yet in California, the most popular system is furrow. Furrow irrigation are sloping channels forming the soil. Water moves down the furrow and infiltrates the soil for a longer period of time. Why isn't furrow used more often, you may ask? Well, although the system is low cost, there are some requirements. 
For one, the area needs to have a high point and a low point to allow water to flow downward. And the slope may not exceed more than 5% or the water will cause soil erosion. And although labor is inexpensive, only one person can do this and that person needs to be highly skilled in knowing the correct amount of water to add and the infiltration rate. This method has been used for thousands of years and it is still used today in some areas of California. The type of crop you might see using this is for corn, broccoli, carrots, and tomatoes just to name a few. In this section I will explain how sub-irrigation is used in the field. Sub-irrigation also known as water table management is accomplished by controlling the water table usually through a subsurface drainage system. The crop is sub-irrigated with water being applied directly to the root zone. Water travels upward by capillary action saturating the crop's roots. The water table is controlled by having collector pipes that collect percolating water which is then reused. Some advantages of sub-irrigation systems are adapted to most medium to shallow rooted crops or orchards. Since the water is supplied to move to the root zone for plant use below the ground surface, the irrigation process or system does not interfere with surface activities or cultivation needs of the crops. This system can conserve water because it minimizes the water evaporation from the surface in hot temperature climates.